as you know, as they say, what happens in Vegas ends up on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hello everyone. I didn't see you there. <clears throat> Welcome to. <laughs> It's much more, can we put the, the laughs or over that, maybe a nice little um, layer of what we're having now. Um, welcome to another um, edition of our weekly YouTube series. We are back and back with a vengeance, back with some strength, with some absolutely wonderful trims coming at you over the next few weeks. From myself, Mr. Glenn, and of course, our newest educator, Mr. Alex Boyle. Today, guys, we have a really nice selling contemporary trim for you to have a look at today. What we're gonna work is a nice plastic square shape through the top followed by some relatively short graduation coming through the sides. Reason is guys, what we're going to look to maintain is a relatively shorter shape on the top. And with the way we're taking the shorter, that means then because of the shorter length and smaller shape on top, we don't need to build as much, if any, weight through the contour. Namely, we don't need to build too much graduation coming through the sides. Because of that guys, because we are looking to create said shape, that will leave us with a nice long exposed panel through the sides and allow us to do a nice mid to high skin fade, complemented with a nice little beard fade and shape up as well. Really cool little haircut to do guys. Stay tuned, have a look and let us know what you think in the comments. So let's groom it right and then left and back and then forward and what you see guys very interesting here's one then also just to the left here is two do we see that we got a little double crown now we got one little swirl here and one little swirl right here do we see that where the hair grows in a 360 motion around that that is where the growth pattern is of the crown so what we have here is a double crown that's something that we have to take into account double crown that means i have to section that off in accordance with it like so from the back, everything that wants to sit back can go back. And everything that wants to sit to the front can sit towards the front like so. Do you see that? Here we go. So we can see, firstly, the line is not completely straight. That's in this like little bevel shape here. And that's because everything is sectioned off in accordance with our growth pattern. Now guys, I want to take a second just for us as a group, for our viewers, to see this pattern being put into place. So here's my growth pattern at the back when sectioned on off. I can see what needs to be layered. I can also see what needs to be graduated. All right, like so. Okay, that's great. I want to start at the front and give me my guide. Guys, I'm not going to club cut this or cut it blunt. I'm actually going to point cut it. Who can tell me why? For texture. For texture, yeah. Wavy hair. Wavy hair, well done. That's great. So here we go, roughly about there. Get my choice of length, see where it drops in the head. That's great, just above the brow line. So I know if he wears it down, it's gonna sit just above the eyebrows. If he wears it up, it's gonna sit quite nicely. Okay, so I'm just assessing the length first and foremost. So here we go. Point cut that line, right from the front, all the way into the back. Okay, like so, here we go. section not being over direct it's actually been brought straight out there's my guide see a lot more hair coming off now okay, a lot more hair coming off I'm really rounding off this little corner here guys here we go which will in turn actually help me with my graduation when it comes to taking a shot still a square line uh, vertically horizontally we're coming slightly more round now okay there we go is basically where we want to build the weight. Now in this scenario here, all we're doing is swapping out our comb and we're using our fingers. Okay, so we're swapping out the comb and using the fingers. Okay, the fingers now act as the comb and where the comb was, and comes off the head, the knuckles now replace that point and the comb will act in terms of like a little kind of weightometer. A little bit of weight, a lot of weight. Now as opposed to building a ridiculous amount of weight like this and bring your section all the way down here, what we know to do is just switch and pivot our section to something a bit more horizontal. The more horizontal the section, the more weight we will build and so on. Yeah? If we something more vertical, we know the less weight we will build. All right? Point in the head, like so. I'm gonna build a nice amount of weight in correlation to my layer on top, okay? So I don't have to build that much weight at all, really, to be fair. Just enough to support what's going on on the top there. Knuckles on that last square point. Fingertips coming away. 
Here's the scissors coming on in, just the first knuckle. We stop, we come underneath that point then once again, and at this point the knuckles are gonna come in nice and tight to ensure that we get longer to shorter. Once again, to that first knuckle, guys. So there's section number one. Forward a little touch, there we are. Once again, guys, we're gonna bring it forward on the top. Knuckles at the last square point. Over direct it, there's our guide, nice and clean. All right, scissor. Over directing it on the round part. On the flat part, we want to elevate on it. There we go. All right. Now, guys, look at the amount of length that comes off here as opposed to previously. And there's two sections done. All right, same thing. Short and short, long and long. Where we over directed, where we elevated. All right, see the difference? Okay. So dry we can just detail it a little bit more cut one section move that past us and move on you can see the little roundness coming into the side there just softening everything on top and just giving a bit more freedom to move guys because again with wavy hair as coarse as this it can become quite stiff and struggle to move a little bit I'm gonna go up and off up and off up and off yeah, following the head shape on round. Not down here. Flicking away, not making a difference. Yeah. Up to the last square point of the head and off through our graduation there. Yeah. Does that make sense to everybody? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I heard one yes. Hopefully yes. I hear a few more. It's two. We're on the right track. <laughs> Is that yes normally? Yeah. So yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, great. There we go. Brilliant. So, number two. Don't say, guys, I'm following. And the hair is growing from the growth pattern of the hair all the way around to the back. So number three, just slimming all that in guys for now. Get one side then the other. Again guys, guideline mimics the graduated line. Alright, so we had a horizontal graduated line with the number two. And of course we are going to have a horizontal guideline with the zero zero. but we're just opting in for number one so we're kind of doing a bit of a guard skip skip where we're skipping the 0.5 and going straight in with the number one roughly one finger's width I'm going to flip that in okay it's flicking see motion there this is where the blender needs to come notice how I'm flicking see the way I'm doing that that line is disappearing do we see that first of all? Now what I'm going to do from that point, I'm going to switch it up and go with the 0.5 and just in, up and out. As long as I do that guys, people think, oh we're not going to leave a line. No, as long as you come in, up and out, out, that will remove the line. If I come in and up and back out like that, then yeah, it's going to leave a line. Of course it is. But as long as I just flick and use more of a C motion, and I guarantee you guys, we're not going to leave any harsh lines that we can't flick out. Zero. 
Notice there guys, I'm flicking the zero right where the zero line was, all right? Just to remove that. I'm gonna bring that right on the knee where the number two was, flicking out with it. Again, the idea now is to blend. We're just using the seam motion on that line to blend it into where we're using the transition guard, all right? The one open bow, the only one we did not use so far. So we use the one, we use the 0.5 and the zero, and then we use the transition. The only one that we did not use so far bro is the one open. So here we go now with the one open. Yeah. 